Wonderful. I'm, I've seen quite a few questions on DALR, especially question selection, puzzle selection, how much time should be there. Think to should have a hard number for when to dump a DALR puzzle if you're not going anywhere. And if you're moving towards an answer, if you've cracked it and then you have to fill the gap, but that's going to take you four or five more minutes. That's all right. You take a DILR puzzle and if it takes you 15, 20 minutes to solve completely, that could still be all right. And in the exam, there are going to be one or two DILR sets which are, which are solvable within seven, eight minutes. Right? Let's say there are two of those. And let's say you are incredibly lucky, you hit both of them. Those two are in the bag. 10 minutes plus 10 minutes, 20 minutes gone. And then even if it takes you 20 minutes for each set and you do two more, you're solving four and this gets you to 99.4, 99.5 percentile in DILR. Right? When you're practicing, don't be too particular about question selection. Do the tough ones also. But in a mock context, context if, a, if, a, if a DILR set could take you 20 minutes, my gut feel is even if you're saying you're in the 99.5 percentile range, it is still all right to do it. As long as you pick the two easy ones, definitely. Then even at 20 minutes per set, you can handle two more. You will get better and better at question selection, but 15, 17, 18 minutes is, is completely fine in a mock context. But remember 15, 18 minutes is the time you might take on November 29th. That means if you do a bunch of mocks, your speed can go up by 50, 60% from today. So if you're today, you're taking 30 minutes per set, that set is what you will take 20 minutes then and 20 minutes is value. So a set that takes 30 minutes is also within your consideration set, within a set that you will do, within the set that you can go for. So don't dump too early. Don't say stuff is too challenging too early. And so I've seen quite a few people when you, when you become very conscious of mocks, you're, you become very worried about doing that really tough sets. Mocks give you a, a, a practice for how the real exam is going to be. But uh, when you're practicing, don't leave out the really tough questions. If your if material you're preparing from is good, then there's a lot of value to really learn from the tougher sets, the slightly tougher sets. So don't, don't dump sets and topics and ideas too early. Now you have a learning advantage from that. Don't lose out on that. And so DALR, 15, 18 minutes per set in the exam, still value. 30 minutes you're taking today is still value because if you're taking 30 today, it'll go to 18 by the time it's D day and 18 is good. Fine. So don't dump too early. DLR has been tough. Those sets are tough. There are no freebies in this exam. When should you dump? If you're not going anywhere, if you've not carved it open, if an idea is not falling into place, if you're still shooting in the dark, then you say minute five or six, leave it, cut your losses. And DLR is the place where you can get sucked in and lose 20 minutes and get nothing out of it. That can kill your score. If you spend 17, 18 minutes and get four questions right, that's worth gold. But if you if you spend 17, 18 minutes and and, and do and go nowhere, one, you're not getting any mark for those 17, 18 minutes. And two, it's going to have another four or five minute impact in the next set where you're thinking, oh, yo, oh, I should have got that right. I don't know what is missing. Your mind is still in the previous set. And so, like hankering after an X, that doesn't work. Fine. So, so should have a hard limit for dumping a question. Uh, is there any theory structure one must go through for LR? No. I know the very basics: the percentages, share, growth rate, CAGR, and some standard uh, arrangement puzzle, sequencing puzzle, tournament puzzle. Some standard templates are there. You'll not get a question from that, but that kind of eases you into 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 what you're looking for. So do that. Uh, but otherwise, the more variety you have, the better it is. In DLR, I get bogged down by the number of constraints. Tell me about it. I hate them as well. The, where, where there are more than 9, 10, 11 constraints, I hate them. My mind can't wind, my, 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 can wind around the whole thing. And I get lost and bugged uh, rapidly. So I've told myself, it has 11, 12 constraints and I'll skip that. Maybe that will work. 